So it is uh, 6.35. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order. This is a special meeting of the uh, Cal Select Board um, for uh, the purpose of discussing uh, a um, uh, open uh, litigation um, and a proposed, oh, another, is this bill? Hi, Wilson. Uh, it is. Uh, so the purpose of uh, this meeting is to um, uh, take into consideration a settlement uh, agreement that was re uh, received from uh, Ms. Shedd uh, and related to uh, open litigation. Uh, so finding that, uh, well, so for members of the uh, public um, who are attending this, uh, there is an intention to uh, go into executive uh, session relative to sensitivity of the, uh, the agreement that we're going to be considering. Um, but uh, we are planning uh, to make a, a statement after the executive uh, session. Um, and uh, since there are uh, members of the uh, public present, uh, we'll... Uh, we'll, we'll make some time to uh, hopefully get uh, that feedback. We have a pretty brief uh, period of time uh, before a special meeting at 7 um, with, uh, with a DRB. Um, so uh, I'll try to be as, as sensitive to uh, participation as I can. So, um, so, so finding that uh, premature public discussion on, uh, of the proposed agreement and the status of the pending litigation uh, would clearly place the select board at a substantial disadvantage. Uh, I'm going to request that somebody make a motion to enter executive session under 1 BSA 313A 1E, uh, which uh, is related to uh, pending litigation, and F, uh, which is the uh, review of uh, confidential attorney client um, uh, communication. Uh, for the per. Oh, yep, yeah. <laughs> moved by Anne. Uh, any second? Second. Jamie, uh, any further discussion? Nope. No, thank you. Uh, we are going to go into executive session, stop recording, and we Aye. are all in favor, please? Yes. Aye. Thank you. Any opposed? No. So after uh, coming out of uh, executive uh, session, uh, we'd like to report that the select board has reached an agreement regarding uh, the you desired. Just yep, I sure, I sure can. Um, uh, regarded desired changes uh, that we would like uh, to propose uh, to the agreement that was originally um, sent to us uh, by Ms. Shedd's attorney uh, and would like to offer the following uh, statement for the public after which uh, we'll, uh, we'll entertain some, uh, some other uh, commentary from the public as well. So it's it was kind of a lengthy statement. I'll try not to go too fast for me. It's either way fast or Real slow. So, um, uh, in May 2022, uh, the town uh, impounded the horses owned by Elizabeth Shedd on Collar Hill Road uh, that were running at large in violation to the town's then uh, applicable ordinance uh, regulating livestock running at large. In December uh, 2022, following a trial, the civil division of the uh, Vermont Superior Court issued a permanent injunctive order that, among other things, authorized the town to continue to impound the horses until Ms. Shedd satisfactorily completed uh, certain improvements to her property set forth in writing uh, through a notice of remedial actions uh, served uh, on her legal counsel by the town. In response, Ms. Shedd sued the town uh, challenging the notice of remedial actions. Uh, the lawsuit remains pending in Vermont Superior Court. Uh, in the meantime, Ms. Shedd has been deprived of her horses for over two years, and the town has incurred costs exceeding uh, $55,000 to board and provide veterinary care for the horses. The town has also amended its uh, ordinance regulating livestock running at large to provide additional remedies available to the town for repeat violations of the ordinance. 
including the authority to temporarily or permanently remove an owner's right to maintain livestock in the town. Ms. Set, uh, Ms. Shedd seeks the return of her horses and understands the potential consequences if the horses run at large again. She has agreed to full, uh, fully reimburse the town's impoundment expenses and to take other steps to minimize the risks to, uh, to public for the horses uh, potentially running at large. The select board believes that at this time, it has come to the end of the pending litigation, or it's time to come to the end of the pending litigation. Start that sentence again, mm -hmm. please. The select board believes that at this time, the, the time or, or that the time has come to end the pending litigation and uh, its ongoing boarding expenses and return the horses subject to terms and conditions of the settlement agreement with Ms. Shedd, any future issues should they arise, will uh, promptly address, uh, will be promptly addressed under the town's ordinance regulating livestock running at large as amended uh, and that the permanent injunctive order and or the other provisions of Vermont law. So that is kind of a summary of our situation to date and a, and a summary of, uh, of uh, of kind of the conditions that uh, that were put in uh, in the proposed settlement agreement, which is both a settlement agreement and a uh, uh, motion to dismiss the current litigation uh, with prejudice. Um, uh, so that's what has been brought to the consideration of the select board. Um, we have members or a member of the actually Wilson uh, is also still uh, on zoom uh, so if there's any questions at this time oh another thing that I'd, I'd like to note is that um, we are uh, sending uh, a modified version of the proposed uh, agreement uh, that uh, uh, that will uphold the original injunctive order um, and that is going to be any any final any final agreement would be uh, would be subject to uh, Ms. Shedd's acceptance of the proposed edits and it would also then have to go to the Superior Court for final acceptance so um, that's that's kind of the status of this particular proposal um, at the time, a couple of years ago, um, there were certain conditions that Elizabeth had to meet to be able to have the horses come back. Are those still in effect and are they going to be enforced by the town? So, I can answer this the best I can. Um, the extent to which the town has requested remedial actions, the, the list of the remedial actions um, relative uh, to when we took possession of the, uh, of the horses is in part what is still pending litigation and has been challenged by Ms. Shedd. So um, the, the original injunctive order uh, from the town's perspective uh, validated the need to take the horses into impoundment um, at, uh, and, and to issue uh, remedial actions relative to the circumstances. Uh, the remedial actions that were proposed were extensive relative to everything involved in, in the situation. Um, and those were being challenged through open litigation and have put us at somewhat of, uh, of an impasse at this point. Uh, for, so where does that go from here, then? Uh, well, the injunctive order, the court's opinion on the injunctive order stands. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, if I can jump in. Yeah, okay? sure. sure. So, please. Elizabeth Shedd proposed a settlement, and she said the settlement would be give me back my horses and dismiss everything, and, and I'll pay the money. Our proposal back to her is the rest of the order that requires her to do certain things remains in effect, okay. although we are agreeing to give her possession of the horses. Before she, that happened? 
she is still required to um, let the town onto the property, to inspect the property and do the other things that are uh, listed in the, in the injunction. Right. She's also required to get the stallion gelded before she can have that back, and so that that's one of the big concerns. Um, but does she get the horses back before she? I she don't understand them. why that's happening. If it's in the injunction that she has to meet certain conditions. Why does that not happen before she receives the horses? So to get that clarification, we would need to continue to stay in active litigation, continue to incur the boarding and veterinary fees, go through the court process, and, and the question of to what extent she will need to perform the remedial actions will need a final answer from, from the court, which is at this point still outstanding in the current litigation. So that's about as much, without, uh, without getting into speculative Kind of interpretations on behalf of the uh, uh, actions of the court and 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 other situations that would kind of put us at a kind of disadvantage to discuss it further. Um, that that is kind of the, the basis of the challenge that we're facing right now. Oh. Well, we dealt with this for years and years, and Elizabeth has absolutely zero credibility about anything that she says she's going to do. <clears throat> For her to get the horses back and put everybody in jeopardy again, their property, really doesn't seem okay. And I get that the town spent a lot of money and they'd like it to go away, but there's a history of her father, who has a lot of money, bailing her out over and over and over over the last 10 years. <clears throat> it just doesn't feel okay for everyone else to have to keep putting up with it. Because I don't think it's going to change. I, I, um, I, I sincerely hear that concern and, and share that, um, that that has been kind of the, the root of a very long I discussion know, so and no. even longer for you yeah. <laughs> and, and the neighbors. And, and so uh, I do want to acknowledge that. Um, uh, Absolutely. Um, we feel as a town that um, not not only if we can not only if we can find mutual agreement on this particular proposal, uh, proposal will that help stem the ongoing ex, uh, expense to the town, but also put us in a better position to respond to future offenses um, at when, when, when they do or if they do arise. Um, and and, and that, is, that, is, that is part of our, our rationale. I got, I got yeah. Um, it, there, there, of course, are, are very few guarantees um, that, that we can be, be sure of, but, um, but a pretty significant amount of consideration has been uh, put into Put, put into it, um, and uh, and and we do feel like we we only have a few options. This is the only time I'd say that uh, that I've been a party to the dialogue where we have seen any particular engagement around any kind of action at all. Yeah. Um, and 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 so that is well, going that's, on it, that's part years. that's part of what uh, what what informs the. So when she gets the horses back, next day Buffy goes down and looks at the situation, but the horses is very unhealthy. It's a swamp. There's no pasture for the horses. So um, she's going to go right down and start checking it out. That's a that's a good question. I think that's going to be uh, a, a question for a, a welfare uh, question um, that uh, will 
that would need to be addressed with the uh, with the state, I believe, um, would would govern that uh, particular issue. Why not um, the town? Since it's a town ordinance. The town ordinance is a livestock uh, running at large ordinance, um, so it, it largely uh, is related to the okay, confinement, so the confinement and control. Right. That's that's correct. Gotcha. Um, I know the state has been kind of wrestling with situations like that, and it, you know, because in, in certain situations they are kind of in, integrally tied. But um, um, but for Calus at this time, it, they're they're separate issues. Um, okay. I guess that's it. And please feel free to reach out and, and, yeah. and keep will. in touch. <laughs> I know. We, I trust you well. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I put a, a name for everybody if you're in attendance to put your name on the attendance sheet if you're here for the session. Thank, thank you. And, and again, I do apologize that we're running um, uh, behind for the seven o'clock. Um, so, uh, at this point, unless there are there any further questions from the do you, uh, for the uh, select board or members from the public. Okay. Can I just ask, how do you spell your name? Is it A-N-N-E, L-Y-N-N, or Y-N-N? Most of the minutes. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I know we'll be in touch. Yeah, good morning. So with that, uh, I would uh, ask for a motion authorizing the select board chair execute the settlement agreement with Ms. Shedd on behalf of the town, subject to the edits uh, revert, uh, reviewed during executive <coughs> session um, uh, as advised by uh, the town's attorney. Second. Second. Uh, second. Uh, <laughs> any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Uh, I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second? Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you.